What is up and welcome back and today we have the Dame 8 EXT PLY. Now this sneaker is going to be the improved version of the Dame 8. That's what the extended play versions are. They just improve on all the little details that could have been better. And this sneaker is no exception. I actually think Adidas did a fantastic job on this one. So let's dive right in. So one of the details I do want to mention is the sizing. Now. I feel Adidas did get the sizing correct on this new version. So if you are regular or narrow, you can go to the size. If you are a wide feather, like myself, just go a half size up. And you are going to get that fitted performance fit, very snug, but it's also going to be very comfortable, okay? I felt that I didn't have any problems on the toe areas. It felt very good, very fitted but not uncomfortable okay so that right there is going to be a huge plus okay also with that sizing change that they did they also corrected the lockdown in the heel okay i felt that in the regular dame 8 i didn't feel as comfortable in the heel area but this one right here is pretty close to a 10. if i had to give it a rating it would be maybe like a 9.8 because i just feel a tiny tiny bit of maybe a little bit of movement in the back but it's hardly anything okay so it is very close to a 10 so you are gonna feel that the shoe is moving with you also they added this strap right here okay so lots of times when you have a strap sometimes in certain sneakers it feels like it doesn't do anything at all but if you do not have the strap on or very loose right here in the front it just feels not as tight okay but when you do pull it like that, you do feel that it does hook here pretty well. It pulls the shoe closer in. So you do get this nice feeling in the front. So I really like that they did that because it just improves the whole comfort of wearing this sneaker. Okay. So another thing I do want to mention, just by looking at it, I'll give you a tour of it. Okay. So you can look at the materials. It's all going to be synthetics and textiles. Okay. Now this colorway right here is going to be very plush, okay? You could just see it by looking at it, okay? Especially this material right here, okay? It's like a felt type material. Even right here, okay? It's very soft, very nice to the touch, okay? So you are going to get a very plush feeling sneaker when you do have it on feet, okay? so. I do love sneakers that are plush, okay? I like that feel. Maybe some players don't, so this is where you're going to be getting with this colorway, okay? But I do have to mention, this sneaker right here, it is going to be good for outdoors with the traction, okay? And we'll get to that a little bit later. But for the upper, this is definitely not going to be an upper for outdoors, okay? Because this material right here, if you get it dirty, it is going to be difficult to clean. Okay, so have that in mind if you are thinking of getting this colorway. Okay, use it only for indoors. And moving on to the traction since we mentioned it. So it is going to be the same traction as the Dame 8. I did like that traction. It works very well. You can see the wave pattern right there. And then on the edges, you're going to have these lightning bolts. Okay, traction crawling on the side. I do love sneakers that have that. Okay. Pretty wide sneaker, you're gonna feel very balanced, okay? I love having wide outriggers on the side, okay? Again, very good. Love to see it, okay? So, that's gonna be the traction, very good, okay? No problem, just make sure you wipe, especially if it's gonna be translucent. They do pick up dust, so wipe from time to time, but it does grip very well. So I unlaced the sneaker for you so you can see the ankle area a lot better. So definitely I feel just like the previous Dame 8, they added this just to give you better feel in the ankle. Okay, maybe there was a little bit of slippage so they added this material just to help out. Now on the interior, you're not gonna have those pillows that were obvious on the side. Instead what you're going to have is if you feel within the sneaker, it feels more thin right here. Okay, but as you move up, around this area it gets more thick okay you can only feel that if you have the shoe in hand okay so it does feel like it has maybe regular padding from here 
forward okay and then right here it's going to be a little bit thicker than regular okay but nothing too crazy just like the regular day made the padding wasn't the most crazy or thick padding you've seen it was just something a little better than regular okay but when you do have your foot in here it does feel very protected okay so no complaints whatsoever on my end also the tongue same deal there's going to be it regular tongue a little bit less than regular okay that we were going to have and on the interior we pull out the insert you are going to have your regular adidas insert okay a little bit thicker so it's better than just something that looks real cheap okay I do like the sock liner that's going to help out a whole lot okay so nothing fantastic but better than something really basic okay and then on the interior you are going to have that strobe board you can see it right there okay that's going to be similar to this material kind of cardboard foam type of material okay so you have that right there and also the lacing system does what it needs to do it gets the job done happy to see that and it's also easy for off and on all you gotta do is loosen up the laces a little bit and then you're in and out okay so nothing too drastic there and like I mentioned the lockdown is very good but make sure you're using this top insert because this sneaker does come laced up up until this point so just make sure you utilize these top inserts up top okay because that's just going to improve the lockdown it's better for you on court anyway right so make sure you're doing that and to look at the aesthetics I think this sneaker looks fantastic stands out with this color got a little details like the damn time right there on both sides the strap I think it looks very good I love sneakers that have a strap especially if it's useful okay this one has those two things also a little bit more on the aesthetics the three adidas right here fused material right you can still see the adidas that is there but it doesn't pop out a whole lot and then they do add a little bit of fused material on the side okay love to see that it has a little bit of extra protection right there for the toe drag area okay so nothing but good things and a pull tab okay you are going to need the pull tab in a bulky shoe like this so but like i mentioned it's easy off and on as long as you loosen up somewhat and then you're good to go and now moving on to the cushioning setup you are going to have this dual bounce pro going to be very similar to the dame 8 the regular dame 8 version now for this extended play version i feel that the setup is a little bit different okay because i definitely feel the shoe will be more firmer right here in the front okay that's just something that i feel personally when i'm stepping in this sneaker i do feel it right here okay but for the remainder of the sneaker it feels fantastic the heel area you can land on it no problem same thing in the center i am going to say right here in the front at least for me i feel that i have to bend my knees just a little bit okay to make some of the energy go into the ground okay but there's nothing that's again that's going to break the shoe or that's too drastic it's just for me maybe how i feel when i land i just feel i need to do that maybe for you it might not be the case if you were jumping with the dame eights the regular ones with no problem then you should be fine as well okay i just do feel that they added a little bit more ground feel so you could be more explosive again is the extended play version so they're just trying to make this shoe a lot better make it better make it faster make the cushioning very plush and you do get that for this sneaker okay so definitely it is going to be a step up if you decide to get this version and we all know dame time when he's in that dame time mode right he's just a killer on the basketball court and he gets up there and lands so you know that adidas is going to make a shoe that's going to be able to withstand that so don't even worry about that okay it's just a preference type thing i do like to have very good ground feel but i just like it to be a little bit not as firm okay i like it just to be a little bit less firm but i can play in it as well
And that's going to be a wrap for this video. There was the Dame 8 EXT POY, and I feel Adidas did a fantastic job with all the improvements all around. The aesthetics look a lot better. Also, the on feet feel with the cushioning, it just feels a lot more comfortable and you get a little bit more ground feel. And maybe you even feel that you're gonna jump a little bit higher, okay? Just off the start because with the regular day made, I didn't get that feel, but this one I do get a little bit more bounce feeling, okay? So definitely recommend and the price tag is going to be 130 USD. Okay, so that's going to do it for today. Make sure you sub and like. It does help me out a whole lot. And we'll be back next time with more. Until then, peace. Bye.